So our study was looking at duodenal neuroendocrine tumors, and uh, specifically since they're growing in prevalence over the past few years, trying to get a handle on uh, what we should do with them when we encounter them in clinical practice, whether it be uh, surgery or endoscopic intervention. So our study was specifically looking at what is the impact of the margin status on the recurrence of the tumor, because that will sort of help us guide management. Uh, and then the second question is, does the technique that you use to remove the tumor uh, influence the recurrence rates thereafter? So we found that people with clear margins tended not to have any recurrence, and this is over the course of uh, a year to a year and a half of follow-up. Uh, those patients who did have some positive margins, whether lateral margins or vertical margins, uh, the majority of them did not have recurrence over that same time period. But we did find that maybe uh, three to four patients of our 20 group cohort did actually have some recurrence of the tumor. But when we were looking at different techniques and trying to characterize their recurrence rate, uh, we found that those techniques which had more deeper uh, scopes of resection, things like endoscopic submucosal dissection, endoscopic mucosal resection, and even snare polypectomy when considered on block, tended to have fewer occurrences than those that were just removed by cold forceps biopsy. As far as the clinical implications of this data, it suggests that margin status is not the sole contributor to recurrence rates of these duodenal neuroendocrine tumors, and perhaps alludes to other factors which have been mentioned in the literature, things like maybe tumor grade and biology, um, and uh, additionally, the scope of the resection for these uh, tumors is also a characteristic of uh, what we'll need to uh, remove to ensure that the patient does not have recurrence. So things that are more superficial, cold forceps biopsies, uh, will not be uh, as effective in removing the duodenal neuroendocrine tumors. It's a fact we already know, but what's more interesting than that is perhaps knowledge of this requires us to have a secondary, deeper resection since we had endoscopic submucosal dissection, endoscopic mucosal resection, and snare polypectomy all showing lower rates of recurrence in this population. Uh, as far as the knowledge gaps that uh, apply after this, it's more characterizing what are then those factors that contribute most to duodenal neuroendocrine tumor recurrence, whether it be tumor biology, whether variations of the endoscopic mucosal resection uh, affect uh, tumor recurrence, things like uh, resection with ligation or resection with cap, uh, and then of course longer term follow-up. Uh, because a, a year, of course, is very important, but longer-term follow-up is definitely needed.